The Southwest has enjoyed relative peace uh, over the last few months. And uh, this is uh, jolting, very disturbing, and very upsetting. So far, uh, presidential candidates of the ruling APC have visited uh, and commiserated with uh, people of that community. Uh, donations have been made. Uh, assistance ha have been re uh, received from uh, medics. No arrests so far, and not surprisingly, uh, because we seem to be used to having uh, very disturbing security infractions like this, attacks by bandits, attacks by terrorists, and um, there's hardly, all you hear are condemnations by all and sundry, but there's hardly anything to prove that uh, the security, uh, as it were, are doing the needful. Still on the church attack, the executive director of the West African Network for Peace Building, Dr. Chukwe Mekaze, says recent attacks in Nigeria should be a lesson for parties contesting elections in that country. He spoke in an interview with TV3. A lot of people have argued that the push now to religious facilities and also targeting uh, worshippers mm -hmm. is it's no longer about the the kidnapping of individuals for just ransom, mm -hmm. but it's also now now to push the fundamentals of the crisis to a situation where there will be crisis now between uh, Islam and Christianity. I think what is important is to isolate crime as it is as it were. Yeah. So whether the crime is perpetrated by people of different identity or not, crime is one and the same. And therefore, once crime is treated as crime including not just in terms of reacting to that crime, but also in the uh, architecture that is developed to prevent the crime, then I think people will also act accordingly. In most of the African states, uh, once you enter a, a political season, there is always the tendency for crime to increase.